Hi, I'm Dr. David Ross with the Virginia Institute of Neuropsychiatry, and I'm here to tell you some more about NeuroQuant and brain imaging work we've done in patients with traumatic brain injury. We did a project called Man vs. Machine in which we compared the ability of radiologists to detect atrophy or shrinking in the brain of our patients compared to NeuroQuant, which actually measures the brain volume. And uh, our first part of this study, Man vs. Machine Part 1, which we published previously, we found that NeuroQuant was better than the radiologists. Uh, NeuroQuant was able to detect shrinking or atrophy in 10 out of 20 of our patients. That was a 50% hit rate, whereas the radiologists uh, who used the traditional method of simply visually inspecting the images found atrophy in only 2 out of 20 patients. That was a 10% hit rate. We then expanded this study in a few ways, and I wanted to give you an update on that. First of all, kind of backing up a step, we looked at the ability of the NeuroQuant standard report, which is automatically generated by the uh, NeuroQuant software, and it identified at least one sign of atrophy in only 16.7% of uh, our patients, and this is a, an expanded sample of 24 patients. So uh, the NeuroQuant standard report is very good, but it, um, it only has three brain regions compared to normal controls, and that's why it only got overall a 16.7% hit rate in our sample of patients with mild or moderate traumatic brain injury. Um, as I mentioned, the NeuroQuant extended hit rate remained at about 50% in the slightly enlarged sample. We looked at asymmetry, how big is one side of the brain versus the other, uh, and NeuroQuant extended analysis found at least one sign of asymmetry in 83.3% of our patients. And then finally, we looked at the longitudinal analysis, which is looking for progressive change over time. And we do that by looking at two MRIs, typically 6 to 12 months apart, uh, to look for a change over time, and that's a powerful way of detecting atrophy in our patients. And we found in this sample that there is at least one sign of progressive atrophy in 70% of the patients. So the overall hit rate for this man versus machine part two was 95.8% of the time NeuroQuant found at least one sign of atrophy or asymmetry in the patients. Compared to the radiologist who used the old-fashioned method, and they found at least one sign of atrophy or asymmetry only 12.5% of the time. So NeuroQuant found a much higher uh, hit rate, and this is good insofar as it helps us understand what's happened to the brain in our patients. Um, now, does this mean that NeuroQuant should replace the attending radiologist? Absolutely not. The attending radiologists do a lot of things that NeuroQuant and other computer automated software cannot do. They uh, recognize patterns. They're able to integrate findings with the bigger clinical picture. Um, they have many years of experience and training and a high level of expertise. But what we can do and what we should do is add the ability of NeuroQuant to measure brain volume with the ability of uh, radiologists or other uh, physicians who uh, visually inspect these brain images in order to best understand what's happened to the brains of our patients. And this is helpful to patients because it helps vindicate the fact that they have a problem with their brain. Unfortunately, there are a fair number of people who will doubt or wonder whether or not our patients are truly injured because a lot of our patients with mild traumatic brain injury um, at first glance look more or less normal. They don't walk unusually. They often talk fairly normally, at least in casual conversation. And people around them or even their family members uh, or others will wonder, do they really have a problem or are they just kind of taking advantage of the situation? Well, these kind of studies with NeuroQuant are helpful because we find in the large majority, almost all patients, there's some objective sign of abnormality. Objective means that a patient can't exaggerate it or fake it. If anyone were to take the same MRI, use the same NeuroQuant automated software, and measure the brain volume, they would find exactly the same results. And this helps vindicate patients, and it helps other people know the truth, that our patients had something bad happen to their brain, which was the cause of the symptoms that they still continue to have. 